Hello, everybody. How is everybody doing? Andrea Majeski here with Dental and Mobile Hygiene. So let's talk about some business related topics. Some common questions that I have been getting lately since we have had COVID, since all of this pandemic has been happening. So I have been open since June. Thank goodness. I am so happy to be back to work. But a lot of questions people ask me is, how are you handling it doing mobile hygiene? So let me try to start from the beginning and then we'll go from there. Okay. So number one is I send off the medical history form. I send off a COVID pre-screening form and I send off the consent form. So that is all online. So I give the patients the links to that and I tell them that they need to fill those out before I see them. The COVID pre-screening form, I send that to them 24 hours prior. I ask them to take their own temperature because I'm a mobile hygienist. So I don't want to go to somebody's house, um, depending on where they live. It could be half an hour away, it could be 10 minutes, or it could be I go up to an hour and a half away. So I have them fill that out 24 hours before, and then I get in touch with them before I see them that day to ask them, how is your temperature? How are you feeling? So the COVID COVID pre-screening online is just kind of the paperwork that I like to have in their file so that I can see that it has been done. But I have them do all of that before I do arrive. Okay, but then I do take their, their temperature, I take their oxygen saturation level with the little clip when I'm there as well before I set everything up. So that is something new. Another new thing is I get changed in their house after I set up. So I might show up looking like this with a mask always. I do, I do always keep the mask on. Um, I will change. Um, I will put on the full PPE. So I have on um, my clothes, obviously. I have on a gown. I put on the KN95 mask. I put on the face shield. I have my loops. I have a hair cap. I put on gloves, the full PPE. So I don't show up like that, but I do that once I change into their house. Another thing that I want to mention is make sure to ask your patients if they have any questions. With COVID, I find a lot of people are very uncertain. Some don't seem to mind, like they're perfectly fine. They might think things are being a little ridiculous, but a lot of them might have questions, but they don't know how to ask. So I will always say to somebody as I'm kind of setting up, do you have any questions while I am setting up? They might say to me, um, yes, how has things changed since COVID? Do you disinfect? Do you sterilize? Do, like what has changed? You know, because they don't know what we do. So I might say something like, well, actually, our um, sterilizing, our disinfecting is exactly the same because we were always taught to treat everybody as if they're highly infectious because we don't know what somebody may or may not be telling us and we don't know what they have. Every time I say that, my patients go, oh, that makes sense. Almost as if that just makes them feel so much better. But then I do say things like, but a couple things have changed. Like for example, me wearing a mask at all times, we never used to do that. Me changing into my full PPE where it kind of looks like I had this huge like costume on, haha, that has changed. Me taking your temperature now, that has changed. If you experience any symptoms, if you get COVID afterwards, you will need to let me know, you know, you know things like that. Plus I do tell them, and I take my temperature, I take my oxygen saturation every single day so you know that I'm okay too. So they do really, really like that. Um, that's kind of the only changes, you guys. So I talked to them about that, um, and I should make a note. Otherwise, things really haven't changed. A lot of people do ask me how I do handle my mobile hygiene business by myself. Um, oh, I do now have an Apple Watch. I don't know if I if I kind of talk to you guys about that, but I love this because this allows me to record. So you might be hearing that and going, wait, 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 you record your patients. I do only for taking notes. So I do let them know. I say, okay, I'm just going to turn on my recorder here and I just kind of turn it on. 
right there. Um, and you'll just hear me calling out tooth numbers because this is how I do my charting and then I do all of my paperwork at home. Because if you do your paperwork in your patient's house afterwards, trust me, it will take a while. I don't know about you, but I'm very thorough. So I like to do it, I guess, in the privacy of my own home too, right? Like you don't want to hang out more than you have to. So I let them know that's why I'm like calling out tooth numbers. Um, I do the probing measurements that way. So then when I go home, I can listen to everything and take my notes. So I don't take the notes um, when I'm there. I take my notes at home. Another thing that people often ask me is, do I book patients back to back? So what I found is I did try to see as many patients as I possibly could in one day. So let's say I'm going to London, which is about 25, 30 minutes away from me now. I might try to see as many patients as possible. But what I find is I can see two households in one day without being too exhausting. So I will book a household at 11 a.m., even if I'm seeing one person, two people, three people, whatever, but I'll book for 11 a.m. and then I might do another household um, like later afternoon. Um, but the other day I saw a family of six. I knew I was going to be tired, so I did not book another household after that. If I'm seeing one person, then I know, okay, I'll still feel pretty good. So I can see another household of maybe three people afterwards. So I kind of plan it that way, but I can do a video on how I do the scheduling because that's kind of a long story. It took me um, a lot of learning to do that because you don't want to not see too many patients. And then you're just kind of like, okay, I just saw one patient. I traveled an hour away, I could have probably seen two more, but there's nobody to see. Or you don't want to book too many people, see like say like five people in the morning and then five people in the evening time, you would be exhausted. So we'll kind of talk more about the scheduling in another video. But that's kind of how I handle things you guys in a nutshell. Now that we're in this pandemic, your patients will have questions. So, you know, let them know that if they have questions, they can just let you know anytime. You can show them everything, you know, all of that. So thank you guys for listening. Let me know if you have any questions as always, and I'll see you guys in the next one.